everybody, welcome to the Scented Heaven. I'm Heidi and on this channel it's all about fragrances. So if you're interested in smelling amazing, hit that subscribe button. And of course, keep on watching because here are fantastic scents to wear this spring. I wasn't in the mood to film a spring video because the weather here was still cold. The sun has shined, but then when you open the door, an icy wind has blown around the house, but now weather has changed and here I am for my spring recommendations and the first part with my designer perfumes for the spring. I will film a further video with my niche uh, fragrances for spring, but let's start now with the designer ones and the first one is Gucci Gloom Ambrosia di Fiori. This is a white floral fragrance. The top notes in here are jasmine and honeysuckle. In the mid there is tuberose and the base is of damask rose and orris. And the name Ambrosia. Ambrosia was considered the drink of Greek gods that imparts immortality. And I can really see um, this fragrance is a quite green fragrance. And the color of green means life and also the pollen smell of honeysuckle creates a picture of new life because the bees transport the pollen from flower to flower or from tree to tree and the fruit can grow so the name is fantastic for the scent it opens natural fresh and green the jasmine is fresh cut from the garden and the honeysuckle bring that floral honey and pollen note, as I said. And the fragrance has to settle a little bit and warm up on your skin to become more sweet. So there is a little bit of sweetness in it. And um, on this point, when it warms up um, and has settled a little bit, then the tuberose appears. So first you get more this natural, fresh, green and honeysuckle smell. So the honeysuckle stays in the whole wear. I really enjoy, enjoy this smell, this pollen smell, this slightly green. Yes, and the tuberose in here is, uh, it comes and goes during the wear. It's not overpowering in here. You can really smell the tuberose. It's a green, not that sweet tuberose, never bub bubblegummy or something like that. Yes, it gets a little bit sweeter while you wear the fragrance and it dries on your skin. And the damask and orris um, brings so much elegance to the fragrance. It's a fresh and modern rose, a modern red rose in here but it's not the main star, so you really get the greenness, you get everything of the auras, but I think it's more the green um, nuances, not that, um, that earthy or rooty. So this is more the, the green parts, the green nuances of the auras. You get this elegant, fresh, modern red rose, but the main star in here is jasmine, that honeysuckle smell, and of course tuberose from time to time so um, it's not prominent the whole wear but i always get whipped of this tuberose yes and i like it so elegant so high graded and i love the greenness in this fragrance so um, the orange also brings a hint of powder um, to the fragrance but i don't really get much powder so this is more a modern, fresh, green, white floral perfume. So this, of course, is similar to other um, perfumes of the Gucci Bloom range, but this one, in my opinion, stands out. Um, and it's also compared to a canal flower from Frederick Mann. I also own canal flower. Uh, I don't think that they are... Um, too close to the, each other but I see the similarity because this is also green and um, you get the tuberose but um, Frederick Miles Canal Flower is um, way more intense and unique 
there is the eucalyptus and ylang ylang coconut so there are many other nuances in here and makes it quite different from all other tuberose fragrances so this one would also be a great choice for spring but we are here now for the designers so longevity is about eight hours so it's quite long lasting and has a strong sillage so this is really a great fragrance for spring gucci bloom ambrosia di fiori my first choice so the next one is from dior this is j'adore absolute this one is from 2018 and um, <laughs> this is so lovely this is the the magnolia version of this uh, j'adore line this has jasmine sunbug and magnolia in the opening in the middle there's jasmine indian tuberose and may rose and the base is of orange blossom and this is a real white floral so you get jasmine you get magnolia you get the tuberose and the orange blossom so this is really a fragrance for fans of white florals there is a touch of citrus in the opening from the magnolia. This is a floral nectar, an incredible lush composition. It's voluptuous, sensual, floral. Yes, magnolia and jasmine are the most prominent florals to my nose. Tuberos comes during the wear. And yes, time by time I get this whiff of tuberos. It's not bubblegummy at all. So this is more an unsweet floral. You get the honeyed notes of orange blossom, but there's not too much honey in here, um, or honey is not listed in here, but um, it has a little bit of sweet honey feeling, this orange blossom, because this is more of a fresh and natural um, white floral, not um, the typical sweet tuberose floral. This is more about the jasmine and the magnolia, the slightly citrus touches of the magnolia. Yes, a sublime natural floral liquid. This is the most elegant spring perfume here. It's versatile from spring to autumn, verbal, I would say, signature scent worthy for sure. And of course, it's similar to the um, others in the Chateau line. I also have the Infinissimi. I don't own the original and um, yes this one is a deeper expression of the original Chador now um, because Chador was reformulated and um, for those of you who love the, the older formulation um, I highly recommend this one because um, yes this is like more like the older formulation and yes try it perhaps if you are not satisfied with the reformulation try Chador Absolute this is a great one it lasts um, about five to six hours on my skin with a moderate sillage so Frequentica says it's quite um, great in lasting power in sillage but on me it's more moderate both lasting, lasting power and sillage but really great one. Lovely fragrance. J'adore Absolute by Dior. So my next fragrance is a new one to my collection. I have it since some month now. This is Si Passione Fantance by Giorgio Armani. This is a new love in my collection. And I think this is also perfect fitting for springtime. This is a fruity, woody, musky fragrance. It has black currant in the opening, uh, jasmine in the mid, and the base is with white musk, patchouli, cedar, and vanilla. And this is musky, white floral. It's fruity, warm, and woody. And I get a bunch of musk with the first spray. In the opening, it's not that fruity as I have thought. Oh, yes, it's so gorgeous. 
This is wonderful. The heart of jasmine is intense floral with this fruity touch of the black currant. It's never too sweet. Um, it's a little bit powdery from the white musk, a little bit milky and creamy. So I think it's more milky than creamy. Yes, I, I get a milkiness, a lot tonic feeling. Also, there um, is no um, milk or something like that in it, but it's the, the vanilla, the cedar, the musk. The patchouli is pretty and mild and the cedar makes it so elegant. I hoped it would last a little bit longer because this is the intense version, but it's okay. It lasts five to six hours, has a moderate sillage, so this is non-offending. You can wear this day to night. It's pleasant, it's charming, and I feel warm and cozy with the scent. This is an appealing night out scent. It's yes, non-offending enough to wear it during the day, but also sensual, seductive, also perfect appropriate for nighttime, I would say. Yes, quite charming and pleasing. This is Si Passione Intense by Giorgio Amani. My next pick is Lantadi Eau de Parfum Intense by Givenchy. And this one is a sesame tuberose perfume. It's an amber floral fragrance and it's deep, intense and woody, a white floral. It's prominent on the tuberose and orange blossom. Oh yes, I get the orange blossom in here. So top note in here is black pepper. There is tuberose, sesame and orange blossom in the mid. And in the base, there is Madagascar, vanilla, patchouli and vetiver. So with the first initial spray, I always get dark fruits like black currant or this dark, almost black cherries. But there are no fruits in here. I think this is the combination of um, vanilla, orange blossom and sesame. So the orange blossom also is sweet in here. You have the sweet vanilla and the sesame. And I think this creates this fruity smell in my nose. So I don't get black pepper. It's not, it's not peppery or spicy. So this is more like um, a fruity white floral. You get that sesame um, in a waxy feeling. So it has a little bit this waxy touch like this lipstick fragrances. Yes. It's never too sweet, but there's this sweet orange blossom, Madagascar vanilla, the sweet tuberose. Um, this intense version has a kind of complexity, but you get all these notes. You get the, the vetiver, the patchouli, vanilla, orange blossom, tuberose. Besides the black pepper, I don't really get that. But um, this feels quite classy. It feels ladylike. It feels elegant. And this is also a quite wearable fragrance, non-offending and yes. This is really, it's in a classy French style. It's a year-round fragrance, could be a great signature scent in my opinion. Um, day and night appropriated. This is intense, deep, long-lasting, but as I said, non-offending. Really great one. It's uh, similar to the other um, Lantadis, Lantadi Rouge and the original Lantadi. Um, they uh, share the same tuberose note. Um, yes, but the rouge one is more spicy, warm, goes more in the direction of oriental fragrance. And this one is in the classy French style. It's long lasting from seven to eight hours. It has a moderate sillage on me. Um, you get a big sillage when you spray more. So yes, really beautiful and elegant signature scent will be Spring Fragrance, Lanta di Eau de Parfum en Tons from Givenchy. And now I have a lovely crop visa. This is Mind Way Intense from Giorgio Mani. I have the little travel size here. 
and this is an amber flower fragrance also with orange blossom there's orange blossom and bitter orange in the opening in the mid there is indian tuberose and tuberose and the base is madagascar vanilla and sandalwood so really sounds lovely and it does smell lovely so this is really a crowd pleasing feminine fragrance white floral the popular vanilla it opens fruity, fruity juicy with the bitter orange and the orange blossom there are two types of tuberose so it's tuberose um, formulated and yes but it's smooth and wearable really lovely not too overpowering from the tuberose and when the perfume dries down you get that smooth vanilla sandalwood base a delicious gorgeous hug so pretty it's pretty close to the original my way but this intense one is warmer and has more depth to it and yes this is perfect to give to somebody uh, could be a really safe blind buy because it's so pleasing and lovely non-offending but it's quite sweet Yes, but it's a lovely vanilla white floral with a lot of tuberose. Great recommendation for springtime. This is um, My Way from Giorgio Mani. Oh, I forgot to say about um, the longevity is about six to eight hours um, with a moderate to strong sillage. And yes, it shall be um, similar to uh, Givenchy from Lantadi. Uh, to Lantadi from Givenchy, but I think this is only the tuberose um, what reminds me of it because um, the rest of the fragrance is not similar but they share the same tuberose note and last but not least a girly fragrance a flirty girly one and that's Poison Girl Unexpected by Dior. This is an eau de toilette, but it's great uh, in siage and lasting power. So lasting power is about five hours. <sighs> this is so good. This amber vanilla fragrance has ginger, blood orange and lemon in the top. There's damask rose in the mid. And in the base, there is vanilla, tonka bean, hazelnut, and cashmere. Wonderful notes. This is a surprisingly fresh and sparkling interpretation of Poison Girl. So it's a little bit similar to Poison Girl, of course. It's in the same range. But this has this um, sparkling and fresh and soft, spicy ginger in here, like a gingerbread. Yummy hazelnut, the soft cashmere on. Oh, this is so delicious, so nice. I wore this fragrance as a um, signature scent. I think I went through three bottles. So yes, this is a year-round fragrance. It's signature scent worthy. Yes, it's daytime, nighttime. This is a date night fragrance with this delicious Tonka, hazelnut, vanilla. Um, you can also wear it to office because it's non-offending. It's not too glowing, not too sticky sweet, but really um, delicious. Oh, this is so nice. You are in a fluffy cloud of sugared vanilla, tonka, this orange rind and spice and like this ginger biscuit as i said yes and uh, the rose in here in the mid this is this damask rose is a girly flirty young and modern rose yes so yummy so delicious <laughs> let me smell <laughs> great one really great one poison girl unexpected from dior my last pick for spring now it's your turn which fragrance um, are you going to wear in spring? Let me know down in the comments. I really appreciate hearing from you. 
and as always don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell give me a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching see you in the second part of my spring recommendations bye bye